More shopping centers, amusement parks, and other places that teens are known to gather with their friends at are now requiring adult chaperones for these minors. Now, why are they doing that? Well, they claim that unruly teens causing harm has led them to make this decision. And while I think there might be a small group of teenagers who are causing problems, making these rules that lead to all of these teenagers suffering the consequences is ridiculous, especially when all it's gonna do is push teens to their technology, to computers, to tablets, to anything that actually takes them out of a situation in which they have to converse with real life human beings. And I think that's important. I think it's an important part of being a teenager, hanging out with your friends is incredibly important. And now it's gonna be a lot more difficult. So I'll give you a few specific examples. For instance, Garden State Plaza in Paramus, New Jersey, the second largest mall in the state, is requiring anyone under 18 years old to be accompanied by a chaperone at least 21 or older on Fridays and Saturdays after 5 p.m. The move, according to the mall, follows, quote, an increase in disruptive behavior by a small minority of younger visitors. That included a reported brawl in the food court last year and a fight in March that brought swarms of policemen to the center, but ended up being a smaller altercation than initially reported. So this is something that has become so common. Right, there seems to be this acknowledgement, regardless of which state you're in, which city you're talking about, that there is a small group of people that's causing all this havoc. And then various businesses in response to that will implement new rules that serve as a major inconvenience and major consequence for everyone else. So shoplifting is an issue right now. I know some people wanna deny it's an issue, it's an issue. So now you can't go to any store like a CVS or Walgreens, whatever, without having to deal with things that are behind lock and key. You have to wait around for a store associate to come to you and you know open the cases, open the containers that all of this stuff is contained in because of the shoplifting issue. Everyone else has to suffer the consequences because we've now just agreed to not doing anything about the small group of people causing the problems. Yeah, so I'm split on this. Uh, on the one hand, that's a compelling argument. And if you say like, oh, you're bothered now yeah. because of the shopping, yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, bothered by it, yep. definitely. Yep. Mm-hmm. And Stores so, are shutting down, people yeah. are losing their jobs, it is a problem. So now you want people who steal things to go to jail? Yeah, I do. Kinda, yeah. Um, so, um, but uh, first of all, I'm from Jersey. If you shut down the malls, there's nothing left to do. <laughs> Hey, so I'm kind of kidding around, typical Jersey jokes. You can go to New York, you can go to Philadelphia, you go to beaches, you go to Atlantic City. Having said that, Jersey is kind of known for their malls. Even Kevin Smith, who's from Jersey, did a movie called Mall Rats. And that's Paramus, by the way, Anna. You shut down the mall in Paramus, you're gonna have troubles. What did I say? Did you, I say said, you said it's slightly different. It, it's I think I said Paramus. Or something like that, yeah, no. <laughs> um, although you might find your paramour in Paramus. Unlikely though. So, uh, so on the other hand, I get it, man. Young males, if we're being honest, are the number one demographic for causing trouble. And so, all this talk in the country about racial this, racial that, etc. No, I'll tell you who commits uh, the most crime: young males. Period. Not close. By far, the largest demographic that creates crime issues, etc., disturbances, and so. All the people, all the malls that are throughout the country that have done this, or most of them are, almost all of them are reporting back, yeah, it helped a lot. You know, you get rid of the teenagers that are constantly causing trouble without chaperones. And all of a sudden, people come back and the families come back and there's more shopping. Oh, There's one other financial element to this that is very important. They say that teenagers are spending less money these days than they were a couple of years ago. So they're not making much money off the teenagers anyway. And when the parents and the families come back, they make a lot more money from them. And you should know that as That's well. That's right. I mean, look, um, historically, the teenage clientele, very lucrative for these businesses, very lucrative. But all, all of a sudden, that changed. Come on, Jenk. No, no, I'm like, telling don't, you from but the- don't minim- like, That's the thing, I, I knew you were gonna lob onto that part of the story and- Lob onto it. No, but that, okay. <laughs> But you did, right? And that's exactly what we're gonna hear from people who want to minimize the damaging effects of just having this like 
let everyone do whatever they want take <laughs> on on these spaces, right? But here they're not letting them do it. No, no, the stores themselves because they have a lot to lose. So they're implementing these policies that make everyone suffer, not just the small group of people who are causing the problems, right? Yeah, in this and case, I think the it teenagers, is teenagers. Yeah. And I think but it's not all teenagers. I mean, they acknowledge this it's a small I know this policy is about teenagers. But why should all teenagers suffer the consequences of what a small group of teenagers have done? Do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Of course and I, I think do, it's yeah. important. Like I think about my teenage years and some of my best memories was hanging out with my friends. And it wasn't hanging out with my friends online. It was hanging out with my friends in person, usually at the mall, going to the movies. Are you kidding me? Let me describe my childhood to you guys, or my teenage years. Uh, where should we go? The mall. Uh, what should we do? Walk around, look at cute girls. And they get too scared to say say anything to them. Perfect. Okay. It's an important part of growing up. <laughs> and so that's why I'm saying I'm mixed on the story. I hear you as a kid who was a unruly, let's be honest, okay, but didn't do any damage at the mall. If you took the mall away from me, where else am I gonna pretend to go talk to women? Okay. But I literally don't understand what you're mixed on. So, okay, so that I don't so like. Why is it that we didn't have this problem growing up? How come we didn't have to go to the mall with chaperones? Well, I'm not sure that that we didn't have that problem. Like so, Did there's always different. Look, I don't know, and it different areas probably had different things. And I didn't follow the news that closely when I was 16. But I mean, we know that there were mall, there was a mall in Alabama that had a problem with a guy named Roy Moore, and they would put up pictures everywhere and say he's banned because he's a pervert looking to try to scam kids. Or See, whatever. I mean, <laughs> precision. I like the precision. Yeah. You you suss out what the problem is. You focus on the problem. You don't make everyone else suffer the consequences for what Roy Moore did. Yeah, but look, at the same time, so here's another part of it that I'm mixed. So a lot of these kids that are causing trouble are 14, 15, 16, right? What are we gonna do with 14 year olds? We're we gonna put them in prison for a long time? We can't, right? That's not the right thing to do. So then, okay, you're gonna target them, but how are you gonna target them? And sometimes you do have to just say, look, man, these set of folks are, I, the, the you know good how you guys, them? The bad guys ruined it for everybody. And by the way, I got a spectacular Here's example what you do. of that in this. You take their picture, you post their picture in the you know break room or wherever it is that they post. They used to do this all the time. Yeah. They do this at amusement parks, right? If you cause a problem, they bring you in. They have like police on, you know, at, at the amusement park or the mall, wherever we're talking about. They take your picture. They let you know you're banned. You're not allowed to come back, and you're done with it. They don't come back. Yeah, so I'm actually banned from Great Adventure in New Jersey. <laughs> good, good, you deserved it. I don't even know what you did, but you deserved I, it. I, well, okay. I jumped into the water fountain in the middle of the place and they apparently you're not supposed to do that. It's anyway, it was raining, we were wet anyway. Anyways, so yeah, look, I, I get it, you could ban people. But the reason I brought that up is because you can't really, right? Was the, every time I went back to Great Adventure, we're like, uh, oh, he's one of the band guys. No, you're banned. I know someone, okay, a friend of mine was at um, Universal in Florida, mm -hmm. in Orlando. And um, this person and their friends were in the parking lot partaking in the devil's lettuce mm -hmm. at a time when it was completely outlawed. At an action park. Wow, that is surprising. At, at Universal in oh, at Universal, Orlando, yes. 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 Uh, and um, security found out they were doing that. And security banned them from ever returning. One of them attempted to return again, and guess what? Got caught immediately, got kicked out of the park. Wow, their technology has improved, as Ali Look, my, my point is, I'm just sick of life becoming even more unbearable because we've now just decided that the select problematic people who are causing the problems shouldn't suffer any consequences. Everyone in society should suffer the consequences on their behalf. And I no, I don't comply to that. I just okay. don't. I think that there might be one last reason why our view on this is a little different, right? It's because I'm a guy and you're a woman, and here's why that's relevant. Because as a guy, you know that you get punished for the actions of your group all the time. So there's a guy we know, let's call him Big Fred, right? Big Fred would go up to women at clubs and he would be super awkward. First of all, that's okay. I mean, not everybody's like smooth and that. Certainly I wasn't smooth when I was younger, etc. But then girls could get their defenses up. And then when they get their defenses up, he would get hostile. So then when good guys go to talk to girls, they have a giant wall up. Why? Because Big Fred talked to them earlier. And everybody's got a Big Fred. Everybody, if you're a woman, you've had, had to deal with 20 Big Freds in your life, right? So that's why you put up the wall. So then I, as a good guy, think like, well, this isn't fair to me. 
All the bad guy guys ruined it. But for guys, we're used to that. Yeah, bad guys ruin everything, right? So that's why I'm a little bit more like, I get it. It sucks, but I get it. Whereas I think you're more pissed about it because I don't think women really ruin it for each other. I mean, you're if you're attractive, the guy's like, yeah, in, whatever. Who cares about what Big Sally did earlier? <laughs> It is a different conversation, and that's the difference between men and women. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.